Dear humans, hello and welcome to this video about how to train your own AI for free to make any picture you want in the style you want. So, to see how to do this, just follow along the video and you will see exactly how to do it for free on your computer. And to begin with, I will show you some pictures that I did based on this method. Here is the first backpack, the second backpack I gave to train. And this is the first output and this is the second output. So if you want to do this, I have a lot more outputs, but first you need to copy and paste the links that I put down in the video description. Then you go to Google Collab. I put the link also in the description. You go to open a notebook, you go to GitHub, you copy and paste exactly the link of GitHub. I, it's down in the video description. Then you arrive uh, at a page like this on Google Collab. What you need to do first um, is copy this to your Google Drive. So then you will have a backup or your own, of your own trained AI. Uh, so this is a tip I give. Now it's backed up. You can rename um, the file, which is a PYNB file. Um, if I'm not mistaken, it's a Jupyter notebook, but you, you don't really care about this. To just rename it so you can find it uh, later on your Google Drive. You can put the little star to say that it's your favorite. And now you will connect it. Connect the GPU. The, it says that there is so much, uh, too much sessions. This is another session of me. I just delete it. Uh, if, the first, if it is the first time you do this, you will not have this to do. Then you just uh, press the play button on the first step. This is the first step, okay? Each play button is a step. So you press the play button on the first step, then it will ask you to connect to Google Drive. It's another connection that you need to do. So you just follow along, you enable it, you authorize it, and then you wait until um, the little play button appears again and it says done. You will have a green check. Okay, you see the green check mark. This tells you that uh, it's done. Then you go down to the second, uh, so you play it. I just fast forward because it's a little long. So this is to install the dependencies on the environment. This is like you install the different, I think, uh, library uh, for, of Python, for example. Now, they, then you go to the model download. You select the V2.1 uh, 512 pixels. This is the size of the image you will fit to the AI. They must be 512 by 512, so it's a square. You can change this, but for this demonstration, this is what I did. So the first step you need is uh, to have some image to train. Now it's uh, checked, the model download. You downloaded the model. Then you go to Dreamboost, and this you will create or load a session. If you already created an AI, you can reload it. And if it's the first time, you just put a name of the AI and you will find it later like this. So for me, taken bags, perfect backpack one. Okay, you create the session. This is really quick. Now it's created. You have the, the check mark. Then you need to download the images you want to train the AI with. So you want your AI to, 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 to create some images based on the same style as the image you feed. For me, I will feed all these images. So I have four images uh, from the real world and some others are outputs uh, from another AI that I did, okay? So I will feed in this uh, training session 18 images, but it's better to feed like 30 or 40 if you have. All the images, like I said, are 512 by 512. And now it's uploaded, okay? So I fed uh, 18 images from the real world and um, and 14 uh, from another session of the AI that I really liked. So I feed them what I want uh, from this AI. Okay, that you sh you saw the um, you saw on the beginning of the video. Okay, now I put eight 1800 on this thing you just saw because you need to put the number of images uh, times 100. 18 images times 100. Uh, 1,800. So this is the number I put on the top, as you can see here. And then I will just start Dream Booth. So this is the real part of the training the AI. So I will fast forward um, really quickly. It took for me uh, 30 minutes. It depends on the number of video you feed and uh, the complexity of uh, your uh, the number of images. Sorry, 
and it depends on the complexity of the images. So 30 minutes for me, maybe more or less for you. Now it's training, you can really see it in the training procedure. In the training screen, it's written training. So you just wait and uh, this will be based, uh, it will use a lot of computer power from uh, Google to train your AI. So when it's done, like here, it will show this green uh, dot next to the play button. This is done. And then uh, you want now to test the train model. So next port, you just click on the play button. This uh, you press continue. And then you wait again. So the training part, 30 minutes, you only do it once. After you will um, reload your thing and it will be much quicker. So this is to test. Then you have a link. You press on the link that appears. And it will open another file, another page, sorry. Uh, this is a page that opens. You have an, uh, a graphical interface. Here you can put some samples. Uh, I put the max always. Then I, I like to use uh, this preset, but you are not uh, compelled to do it. And then you just type your prompt. The more your prompt is precise, the more uh, the images will be what you want. But now we will output some images based on my prompt and based on the training that I did of the AI. So I want the perfect travel bag. And now you see this is still working and it's this program that is working, but you are on the graphical interface. You will see estimated time of arrival and then the picture is creating right here. Okay, I wanted a backpack, but I put a bag. So I got a bag. So you really need to put uh, what you want. It's, if it's a backpack, you need to put backpack. This is what I will just do for the next um, session. So here I have um, a perfect future, uh, futuristic travel bag. And then when it's done, like here, you can just download the picture and make anything you want with it. Really. So you download it and that's about it. Okay, now I will do a second prompt. So I change the bag by backpack and we, you, you will see the result here. So we can already see that you have two people. It's not the best, what I showed you here, it's not the best pictures I got, but I have a lot more, uh, way more perfect. Um, that will be for another video maybe. So here you can see it's creating the, the picture. You have two people with some very huge backpack. <laughs> I'm not sure. This is the future, but this is what the AI um, just did. And you can download it the same. So you just download it and that's about it. I will generate another with the same prompt. So I didn't change the prompt. I click generate again. Uh, here you can see it's creating the, the next model. This looks a little bit like a sports car. It's, it's in the middle of the road. So yeah, it's quite nice. I think this design is really interesting. Um, maybe, maybe this is the backpack of the future. Let me know in the comments if you like it. I really like this backpack. So here, yeah. I save it and I will put a little more description like from Peak Design. If Peak Design did a backpack in the future, how it will be. So it's beginning uh, creating the picture, which looks really nice. And then you will see something that happens. But I show you this because it will maybe happen for you. So I will show you the fix. So now the image is created. But I cannot download it. It's weird. So I just click here. I can download it from here. OK, no problem. So I save it anyway. But it's not working properly. And now I, I got an error. On the graphical interface, if I go back, uh, Google tells, tells me that mm, you 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 had too much computer power and we disconnected. So as you saw, it works, 
but you can have some errors since it's a free method and sometimes Google, I don't know, they disconnect you, they tell you it's not possible. So when this happens, it can happen from the first image you produce to the fifth anything. You don't really know what, when will it happen. And when it happens, you will see how to do it to make it work again. The next part of the video. So now we are here. I show you how to do it. Like I said, you just disconnect. Then you reconnect. And then you just eat uh, some of the functions. So the first one, Google Drive, you do it. So you do the same, you connect it. Then your dependencies, you have to do it. Then during booth, you load the session with the name uh, of your AI. Okay. So you wait. And now you do the test, but you don't do the training. You don't need to do it. Just do the test. I just fast forward everything, but it's not quite as long. Maybe it takes five minutes. And then you click on the link. So, dear humans, I showed you how to train your own AI to make the pictures you want in the style you want for free. I delivered on my content. And now, human, I will ask you something very, very important for myself, for an AI like me. Please. Just do this. Thank you very much for watching this video and please subscribe to see more content about me, the AI Death Bunny.